Hey, what's up, Twitter family? This is uh, Fly Tie MMA, also known as the Progressive Martial Arts on YouTube. I just want to make this quick video because um, I want to talk about a new uh, talking point. It seems like a lot of the uh, Never Bernie crowd is adopting. Um, and this is on light of James Carville, Democratic strategist, pushing this out. And I see a lot of people uh, copying this. And trust me, this is not an accident. Uh, they are... Uh, they found a new narrative to use against Bernie Sanders. Uh, first thing first, I want to give a big shout out to Comrade Carr on Twitter. Uh, please follow him, man. He's a he's an OG down here putting massive work for uh, the Bernie Sanders campaign. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have his uh, link to his Twitter in the, the description down here. He deserves uh, a ton of followers, a lot more than me, that's for sure. And uh, I met a lot of uh, my Twitter uh, friends on uh, down here in South Carolina. I, I was actually. Uh, doing some canvassing with one of them. Uh, I, I don't know if she wants me to blow her Twitter up or not. Um, if she does, I, I will give her a, a mention a little a later on. But she is amazing. Uh, she worked down here um, uh, in South Carolina for the Bernie team. And uh, when I was talking with a lot of voters, she was pretty incredible on the issue. So I had a great time with her. And I look forward to meeting a lot of other uh, of, of my Twitter family uh, during my trip down here to help Bernie Sanders get elected. But first thing first, the new attack that uh, James Carvel and a lot of the Never Bernie crowd is using that. Hey, uh, Bernie Sanders, uh, if we elect him president, it costs us a lot on house races. It'll be a big uh, boon against them. So I want you guys to realize something. The reason why they are pushing this talking point out is because they can no longer use the electability argument against uh, Bernie Sanders, because if you look at the candidates that's in the race right now, the only person that did well against uh, Donald Trump before was uh, Joe Biden. And now Joe Biden has tanked significantly in the polls. Um, Four place in Iowa is a joke, man. So their leading guy who beat Trump is pretty much out. Of, it's, good, it's screwed now. He don't have a very solid path of the nomination. The two people that are uh, doing the best right now, I think Amy Klobuchar is, uh, I think she's training to be third in New Hampshire. So Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar ha is doing absolutely horrific in the polls against Donald Trump. There was actually a poll I saw not too long ago that shows that Pete Buttigieg is losing to Trump. Now, this is an important point that I made all the time. In order to defeat Trump, you got to be up plus five in the polls <laughs> because we have we had to beat the Electoral College. If you are within five points of Donald Trump, you are losing. Now, there is one candidate that has consistently outpolled Trump by plus 10 points, a guy who's still beating him in head-to-heads. He is doing by far the best with independent voters against Donald Trump, which James Carville, I uh, saw that he very conveniently ignored that when he was on MSNBC, when he was control, uh, concern trolling about... Um, Hey, can Bernie Sanders win over independence? So this is their way to kind of um, plant seeds of uh, electability, uh, seeds of electability doubt on Bernie Sanders without actually having a strong argument against him. So uh, another very important fact I like to I, I want to lay out is some more context because you see a lot of people bring up facts like um, Bernie Sanders in endorsed candidates then flip a lot of house races, which is one thing, which is that's, that's fair. But we got to have some context here, and, and this really highlights what makes uh, our movement special. So there's a study that I'm pretty sure a lot of progressives are familiar with that shows that the candidates that run with 91%, 91% of the time, the people that raise the most money, they tend to win. Now, um, with that said, Bernie Sanders endorsed candidates, the, the candidates with that take no corporate PAC money and who are usually vastly outspend, they did better than Barack Obama endorsed candidates did in 2018. So now Bernie Sanders is doing something really crazy with our revolution because we are flipping that trend the way it used to be. Because back in the day, you can reliably predict uh, elections, just like Noam Chom uh, Chomsky said, just by seeing who raised the most money. And now uh, Bernie in endorsed candidates had a great showing in 2018. Um, and these candidates have been uh, massively outraged by uh, the Democratic and Republican establishment. So that's some very important piece of context that I think a lot of people don't realize um, is that even though uh, in that particular race we didn't flip those seats, we are winning elections even though we are not raising the money. That means we are winning the battle of ideas. And 
in my personal opinion, the most electable guy, and we're going to see this in 2020, you want to drive out people who usually don't vote. And you don't have uh, Bernie Sanders out there who really advocating for popular ideas that attracts independents like myself and non-voters. And then what's the alternative? Do you think a lot of the vote blue no matter who people are not going to vote for Bernie Sanders? That's ridiculous. That's not going to happen. So when Bernie Sanders is president, he will not only have the vote blue no matter who people vote on Democrats. He can have people like me because I wouldn't vote Democrat if he wasn't uh, in the race. But if we have uh, Bernie Sanders who is the president, I want people to be able, I want to be able to pass his agenda. So I'm going to be I'm much more willing to vote blue if, if he's if he's on top of the ticket. So you have independents like me. Non-voters who wouldn't usually be uh, engaged in the system. I think voter turnout going to uh, increase dramatically with Sanders as president. Um, and you have the vote blue no matter who. So we have a massive coalition that will only form when um, Bernie Sanders is the nominee and the candidate. And, and this is the context that uh, you never see when people bring out this attack. And I'm telling you, this is why I want to shoot this video. Because this is what they're going to be pushing out. And these are what we got to use to push back. If you guys have any more um, good ways to kind of put back on this attack, please share it below uh, through the comment session. Um, I'm going to look through those and I'm going to address the attacks because we got to be ready. Um, anyway, but I, I just want to make a short video to talk about that. Uh, once again, I'm having, having a great time in South Carolina. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, waiting for some of my other roommates to get here. I got this Airbnb that uh, Gregory Card, uh, uh, Comrade Card helped me out with. So uh, I look forward to... Uh, uh, to knocking on more doors and talk to some people down here in South Carolina. I, have, I had a great time. I got a lot of great stories to tell you guys. If you want to uh, support my activism and keep me on the campaign trail as long as possible, uh, please uh, donate to my uh, activism below. I greatly appreciate it. Even about two, three bucks would be great for me. But thank you guys. Have a great day.